Ryan, political activism, it is something we certainly see, calling elected officials to, to demand policy change, really a tried and true strategy in the political world. But the families of gun violence victims, including Connecticut activists, have spent months. They're using artificial intelligence for a new way to send their message to Capitol Hill, and now they want to see it go further as proposals like federal safe storage laws stay at a standstill. Explaining all of this tonight, Fox 61's Sarah Sanchez. Hello, I'm Joaquin Oliver. Six years ago, I was a senior at Parkland. It's been six years and you've done nothing. Voices of young people silenced by gunshots. I'm a fourth grader at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, or at least I was. Brought back to life digitally. And now they're filling the voicemails of congressional offices. Families sent in old home videos of their children to advocates at March for Our Lives and Change the Ref to advocacy groups. These groups created the voices using artificial intelligence. When I got, you know, the his voice back, um, I, you know, I, I wept uncontrollably. And I just kept listening to it over and over. The growing project tells their stories. It goes by the shot line. One of the messages coming from Connecticut's own Ethan Song, a 15 year old shot and killed by an unsecured gun at his friend's house. I'm calling because I need your help, which is weird. Usually I was the one helping people and animals. I loved animals. I fostered like 95 dogs and puppies, but I can't help anyone anymore. In the six years since his death, his story has already inspired grassroots prevention and state laws here in Connecticut, but his family says they need to see federal action. The thing is, kids like me are dying every day. It's time to act. Time to pass laws that protect kids from unsecured guns and help end gun violence. Helping people is your job after all. Anyone who's lost someone to gun violence can now take part, whether it was a shooting or suicide. Organizers hope to make hundreds of these voicemails. More calls are coming. We'll, we'll call, call again, again and again and again, and again until change is made. The Song family and others are asking people to go to the website and send these messages to their lawmakers until federal legislation, like the safe storage standards, gets bipartisan support. We've got a link to the Shotline Project on our website, fox61.com.